welcome to the ancient city of Jerash, dating back almost 7,000 years ago to the Neolithic times. Here behind me is the Arch of Hadrian, erected in 129 AD for the Emperor Adrian when he came to visit. We're gonna start out here in the southern end of the complex and go through and explore this beautiful area. Right as you're entering through the Adrian Arch, you'll encounter Hippodrome here. Hippo and Dromos roughly translates to horse race course. This stadium used to be filled by almost 15,000 spectators. It is so well preserved. Just think about sitting here in ancient times watching the horses race around this track. I'm here in the Oval Plaza. This here is surrounded by 56 columns all around made of four slabs of stone each. It was the center of social and political life during the town's heyday. And just as we turn around behind me is the Temple of Zeus, built in 162nd year AD. Let's go have a look from the top. Here are the amazing views from the Temple of Zeus. As you can see, some of the columns have fallen, but the restoration efforts undertaken here have preserved much of the city, so for us to enjoy. Now this here is the main road, Cardo Maximus. It runs through from south to north through the city of Jarash. I am here in the oldest theater in Jarash, over almost 2,000 years old, and 3,500 spectators would gather here to watch performances right on that stage. I'm following along the Cardo Maximus, which is the main street from the Oval Plaza, which connects the Oval Plaza with the North Gate. Along this, you'll find many beautiful temples. A fun fact is, Decumanus is a Roman term used to refer to streets running east and west. I'm here in front of the Nymphium, the main water source here in Je for the people of Jarash. This big bowl right here was used to serve wine, if you can believe it or not. The main mermaid that's set right in there is taken to a nearby museum. There you can also see on top the painting of Zeus's daughter, Artemis.
Think about this, on the hill behind me is the temple of Artemis, the daughter of Zeus. But before you reach the temple, you had to go through this grand gate. I mean, the Roman and Byzantine architecture is simply amazing. We're gonna go check out Artemis temple next. I'm standing right in front of the temple of Artemis. This temple was dedicated to Artemis goddess, which was the daughter of Zeus. We have one of the finest examples of Byzantine churches. As Christianity spread in the 4th and 5th century around Europe, old pagan temples were destroyed and these beautiful Byzantine churches were being built. How do we know this is Byzantine? Because you can see the beautiful mosaics that line the floors of this beautiful church. This is the North Theater. It is much smaller than the South Theater and only half the capacity, about 2,500 people. This is the North Gate. This North Gate was actually constructed prior to the South Gate. And the Cardo Maximus streets stretch all the way from the North Gate through the South Gate with many of the buildings lined up in either of the direction of the city. What an amazing day of exploring the beautiful ancient city of Jerash. Learning the culture, taking myself back in time to learn how the Romans lived back in the day. Absolutely incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey just as much as I did. And I'll be heading now to Amman to explore the capital city of Jordan. Thank you again so much for watching. Assalamu alaikum. Till next time, guys. Take care.